Welcome to the Wattle Tent How To video. This is a quick video on how to make a craft version of a real wattle tent. So we have here first four paper straws. I did try and use these pipe cleaners but um, the straws were a lot stronger and were able to stand up and plastic straws don't work and of course are bad for the environment. In my previous video I would have explained a real wattle tent but of course instead of wattles we're using paper straws. So initially what we need to do is we kind of flatten the straws out a small bit just to make them a little bit easier to bend and just so later uh, when we're stapling them it'll make them easier to do that as well. So if we bend the straws over, create kind of an upside down U shape as you can see here in the video. You do that with each of three of the straws, not the fourth one because you're going to need that in a couple of minutes. So I should have mentioned as well that I'm using a square piece of green felt that I got in the craft store, which I'm using as my base. Once I've folded over the straws, I get to my blue tack and I'm going to be sticking the straws onto the felt. A traditional wattle tent would have more than three bundles of wattles, but obviously in this case, because it's a craft um, and the small space, that's what we're using. Once you have the three of them standing upright in place, you take the four straw, you kind of place it up against um, the three sand straws, you cut it to length, and then what you're going to be wanting to do is staple it um, to the straws. This kind of creates a bit of structure, and in a real wattle tent, um, there would be a, a pole or wattles going across the top as well, as well as actually down the back as well. I'm now using a piece of felt um, as a canvas. Normally this would be, as I said, a canvas in a real wattle tent, but um, I'm just cutting a hair at the back just so that it will cover the back and we can um, staple it. Now I'm using, I'm going to be using uh, staples here once this is formed. So you kind of form around a shape and you staple it. I'm using staples, of course, but to secure it down. In real life, you would use stones and sticks and anything to keep the canvas down. Once you have staple on either side, you kind of secure the back and you staple that as well. The next thing you want to do is cut off the excess just so that um, it's not kind of hanging over and there at the front as well. So once you're finished, don't throw away any of the excess felt because you'll use them from different ones. Now normally basically what you would do if it was cold in the winter, you would have other uh, cloths through on top. So I'm just simulating that with um, the pink felt and you might also throw other cloths over the front to try and keep it nice and warm. And that's basically the finished wattle tent um, as an example. The next bit I'm going to do is actually kind of the diorama bit, a basis that you can do. You can have these ready for your students already or just have on display yourself. I'm cutting other pieces of felt onto a hair piece of cardboard and just matching out. So the brown piece is like for a muck of a feeler to be in. The black is going to be simulating a road because a lot of camps would be on the side of a road. So I'm sticking it down with a bit of PVC glue. I'm going to put some white on top of the um the black felt that's cut to size to show a road. And then the other space then is going to be for the tent itself. So once I'm cutting all these pieces up, as I said, it's just very simple med. And if you're trying to save time with your students, you can actually have these pre-made. So they're just making the wattle tent, of course, with your help. Making the wattle tent is going to depend on the ages of the kids as well. Um, how much extra help they need. But for some of them, it might be able to do it themselves. Um, but of course, the stapling and stuff would probably would need supervision. Once it's all stuck down, that you can leave it at that, or you can make it a bit more um like a like a camp. So obviously the little orange crepe paper I kind of made like a little fire. Um I'm also gonna be making little trees as well. So using lollipop sticks, cutting them in half, and using some more green felt that I just cut a jagged shape out of. Um, and I stuck them in then with the PVC glue onto the um, onto the lollipop sticks. As you know, of course, with the PVC glue, you'll have to leave it dry a little bit longer before you can actually stand it up, uh, which is what I did off camera. And as I said, I just cut some little jagged shapes um, to make my trees. 
So you can make your camp as detailed as you want. I made little tufts of grass out of green crepe. You can also have crates where you can paint them and put, um, to make them look like little crates on the campfire. Or you can finish there. But that's pretty much your wattle tent finished. Um, it's like a little camp on the side of the road to simulate what it would have been like years ago. I hope you've enjoyed this and if you do, please comment and if you have any questions as well, that's okay.